Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will patronize tomorrow the fourth edition of the Isa Award for Service to Humanity that was won by the EDHI Foundation in Pakistan in the Humanitarian Services Award. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Qutaybiyah Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the participants in the 18th Arab Businessmen and Investors Conference, ABIC, held under the patronage of His Majesty the King under the theme, Investment in the Fourth Industrial Revolution, Digital Economy, Pioneership and Innovation, organized by Bahrain Chamber for Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, in cooperation with the Union of Arab Chambers, the Arab League, the Arab Investment and Export Credit Guarantee Corporation and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization in Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the guests, expressing appreciation for the leading role of commercial and industrial chambers and unions in supporting the commercial movement and economic development in Arab countries through their effective participation in developing policies and making decisions. His Majesty hailed the conference's focus on time represents by the readiness of the business sector for the requirements of the fourth industrial revolution affirming the importance of their role in commercial and industrial sectors in determining the nature of and fields of investment his majesty the king stated that bahrain is exerting intensive efforts in developing well-defined plans for the transformation to the digital economy his majesty noted his keenness on communicating and cooperating with citizens and with arab and world countries for the interest of all. His Majesty expressed thanks to the guests for selecting Bahrain as a destination for their businesses and deliberations, commending the efforts of the BCCI for its endeavors and approaches to support commercial and industrial activity, wishing all success.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد من بي سي سي آي سمير عبد الله ناس delivered a speech in which he expressed honor and gratitude for receiving His Majesty's invitation and meeting His Majesty. The chairman expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his patronage of the conference, whose support ushered an era of prosperity and development and whose vision for the future will further develop the kingdom. He said that the conference is taking place in conjunction with the 80th anniversary of the establishment of the BCCI, which Nas said has since become one of the symbols of free economic activity. The chairman said that the conference's emphasis on the digital economy, leadership and innovation reflects His Majesty's directives as expressed in his speech in the opening ceremony of the National Council's second session of the fifth legislative term. He affirmed the chamber's commitment to realizing the directives of His Majesty the King by contributing to the process of building the digital economy and satisfying its requirements. Nas thanked their Royal Highnesses, the Prime Minister and Crown Prince for their ongoing support to the private sector, which he said allowed the sector to play its role in serving its patriotic duties. For their part, the guests expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for their warm welcome and generous hospitality during their visit, praising the successes that the Kingdom achieved in the economic, commercial, industrial and entrepreneurial sectors, which made it an investment-attracting environment. الخاص في المرحلة المقبلة فنحن ندرك جيدا حجم الآمال المعقودة على هذا القطاع بقدر ما ندرك ونعي دورنا الذي سيكون إن شاء الله دوما في مستوى ما تنشدونه يا صاحب الجلالة من رفعة وتقدم لهذا الوطن وشعبه الوفي في عهدكم الميمون سيدي صاحب الجلالة اسمحوا لي حفظكم الله أن أرفع لمقامكم السامي أسماء آيات الشكر والعرفان على تشريفكم لنا برعاية فعاليات المؤتمر الثامن عشر لأصحاب الأعمال والمستثمرين العرب الذي ينعقد في ربوع مملكتنا الغالية ورعاية ذكرى مرور ثمانين عاما على تأسيس غرفة البحرين كأول غرفة تجارية في منطقة الخليج العربي التي تأسست في عام 1939 وقد عكست هذه المؤسسة عبر مسار تاريخها الطويل والمتعاقب جهود رجالاتها المخلصين في عملية البناء والتحديث الاقتصادي والاجتماعي وذلك جنبا إلى جنب وبشراكة تكاملية مع القطاع العام حتى أضحت الغرفة رمزا من رموز العمل الاقتصادي الحر فقد كان لها مبادرات نوعية أثمرت عن بناء صروح اقتصادية أثرت البيئة التجارية والمالية بالمملكة ففي الخمسينات من القرن المنصرم أسهمت في إنشاء بنك البحرين الوطني وفندق الخليج وفي فترة الستينات شاركت في تأسيس شركة البحرين للتأمين وشركة البحرين للاستيراد والتصدير كما كان لها دور مهم في تأسيس بنك البحرين والكويت ونأمل أن يكون للغرفة خلال المرحلة المقبلة دوراً إن شاء الله في مشاريع نوعية ترفل الاقتصاد الوطني سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة لقد شهد كيان الغرفة منذ توليكم مقاليد الحكم بالبلاد تطوراً نوعياً كبيراً في الدر والأداء والمسؤوليات لما أتاحه مشروعكم الوطني الرائد من مقومات وظروف مواتية دعمت هذا التطور ففي هذا العهد الزاهر دشنت البحرين ولأول مرة في تاريخها الحديث رؤية اقتصادية واعدة صاغت تصورا بعيد المدى للمسارات المستقبلية للاقتصاد الوطني حتى عام 2030 ورسمت للقطاع الخاص خارطة طريق واضحة المعالم للمشاركة في الدفع بعجلة النمو الاقتصادي ولعل المقام يستوجب وأنا أمتثل أمام جلالتكم أن أؤكد استعداد وقدرة هذا القطاع على المشاركة والمساهمة الفعالة في ترجمة هذه الرؤية التي تثبت عزب القيادة الرشيدة على استكمال مسيرة البناء والتقدم لتحقيق العزة والرخاء لتظل البحرين كما هي دائما صرحا عظيما ولتظل كبيرة بقيادتها وأهلها ملكنا المفدى
سوف تشهد مملكة البحرين اليوم افتتاح فعاليات المؤتمر الثامن عشر لأصحاب الأعمال والمستثمرين العرب الذي اتخذ في دورته الحالية شعار الثورة الصناعية الرابعة بناء المستقبل الريادة والابتكار في الاقتصاد الرقمي وقد كان أحد المحاور الرئيسية التي تطرق لها خطابكم السامي حفظكم الله في افتتاح دور الانعقاد الثاني من الفصل التشريعي الخامس لمجلسي الشورى والنواب خاصة فيما يتعلق بالاقتصاد المعرفة باتجاهاته الحديثة واسمحوا لي بهذه المناسبة أن أجدد التقدير لتوجيهاتكم الكريمة للحكومة المؤقرة في أن تباشر بوضع خطة وطنية شاملة تؤمن لنا الاستعداد الكامل للتعامل مع متطلبات الاقتصاد الرقمي لذلك فإن مخرجات المؤتمر سوف تصب في اتجاهات تحقيق تلك التوجيهات السامية سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة يستوجب المقام أن أشيد باعتزاز وتقدير لجهود القيادة الحكيمة ممثلة في جلالتكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم وبدعم صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس الوزراء الموقر ومساندة صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء التي مكنت القطاع الخاص بالقيام بدوره التنموي والإسهام بنهوض الاقتصاد الوطني وفي الختام نجدد لكم يا صاحب الجلالة خالص تقديرنا واعتزازنا لهذه اللفتة الملكية الكريمة بإتاحة الفرصة لنا للتشرف بلقاء جلالتكم مؤكدين لكم أيدكم الله أن الغرفة والقطاع الذي تمثله سيظلان دوما متحملين لمسؤولياتهم الوطنية وداعمين لمسيرة النهضة والتحديث وعند حسن ظنكم في خدمة مملكتنا العزيزة وقيادتها الرشيدة ومواطنيها الأوفياء خلف رايتكم الخفاقة دائما إن شاء الله وفقكم الله يا صاحب الجلالة وبارك المولى سعيكم وجعلكم ذخرا للبحرين وأهلها لتواصلوا مسيرة النهضة والعطاء والإنجاز بكل عزم وثبات والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, accompanied by the CEO of Tatwir, James Eastlak, and General Manager of Exploration and Development at Tatwir, Yahya Al Ansari, to discuss the developments of the strategic plans for exploration and development, which are implemented in accordance with the directives of His Majesty within the framework of strengthening sources of national income. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for the vital role of the Higher Committee for Natural Wealth and Economic Security, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier, Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in cooperation with the Ministry of Oil for their efforts in serving the oil sector, hailing the ambitions, investment plans and projects that aim to enhance the role of this vital sector as one of the main pillars of the national economy and the comprehensive development march. His Majesty affirmed that the Kingdom is moving forward with implementing its developmental projects in all sectors to serve the country and meet the aspirations of citizens. His Majesty praised Bahrain's leading achievements in various fields thanks to the efforts of its citizens, especially the largest oil discoveries of shale oil and deep gas in Bahrain's history, commending the efforts exerted by the Minister of Oil and all the officials in Tatwir in developing strategic plans to benefit from this great discovery. He also directed to intensify efforts and projects to increase oil and gas production in the kingdom, which will strengthen its strategic economic center in the region, develop the industry and raise the living standard of the Bahraini citizen. The minister briefed His Majesty on the developments of the oil and gas exploration and production plans and the latest developments in the drilling of a number of experimental wells for the extraction of oil commercial quantities, which will benefit the national economy and achieve the desired goal. The minister also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for supporting the oil and gas sector, commending the government's directives to intensify exploration operations. He also hailed the role of the Higher Committee for Natural Wealth and Economic Security, which aims to preserve the country's natural resources, develop energy sources and support the national economy. The minister also expressed thanks for His Majesty's directives to strengthen the oil and gas industry in the kingdom and expressed aspirations to exert further efforts to achieve the future aspirations of this vital industry. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at the Qadabiya Palace today. The Cabinet Secretary General Yasser al Nasser made the following statement. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the outcome of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visit to Egypt and the talks His Majesty engaged in with President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, in which bilateral relations and regional developments were discussed. His Royal Highness described the visit as a step towards further cooperation and Arab solidarity in the face of common challenges. His Royal Highness also praised the bilateral ties and their respective leadership's keen interest in developing them further. His Royal Highness welcomed the participants of the 18th Arab Businessmen and Investors Conference and the International Investment Forum, which His Majesty the King is patronizing, and affirmed the importance of Arab investments in the development of the region. His Royal Highness also praised the role of the businessmen and women for keeping up with the economic development worldwide Wide and for their promotion of technological innovation. His Royal Highness then praised the ISA Prize for service to humanity for its contributions in promoting humanitarian ideals across the world. For his part, the Deputy Prime Minister and Secretary General of the ISA Prize, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, discussed the preparations that are being carried out to host the prize tomorrow under the patronage of His Majesty the King, where the winner of the fourth edition of the prize will be announced. Based on the recommendation of the Coordinating Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Cabinet approved that the National Committee to follow up on the implementation of the National Energy Efficiency Plan and the National Renewable Energy Plan will be under the chairmanship of the Sustainable Energy Authority President and will represent Bahrain in the International Renewable Energy Agency. The meeting approved a comprehensive development plan for Tubli Bay to preserve its ecological nature, beautify the surrounding area and improve its water flow. 
law. The cabinet approved amending the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry law and referred it to the Council of Representatives. The session decided to refer one of the real estate development projects, the Elegant City Project, to the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects for a further study as part of the SALT projects and take the necessary measures. The meeting approved a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Interior and the Boston Police Department to cooperate in the exchange of experience, training and information. The Cabinet discussed the provisions and regulations for organizing the periodic inspection process for detecting communicable diseases, especially for employees in restaurants and hotels, and referred it to the Coordinating Committee for consideration. The Cabinet then reviewed three ministerial reports, the first from the Minister of Foreign Affairs on participating in the meeting of Foreign Ministers of ASEAN, which included Bahrain's accession to the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia, the second from the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication on the results of the visit to the UAE Space Agency and Khalifa University, and the third from the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs on the results of the Arab Artificial Intelligence Summit. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the conclusion of the sixth session of the SCW. She praised His Majesty's support and hailed the accomplishments of women that enhanced the status of the country on the global level. Her Royal Highness affirmed that the royal support helped in enhancing women's role as an active partner in the society. She also expressed appreciation to the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She hailed the recent measures taken by the Council to adopt measures that meet the needs of women at the governmental level and ensure equal opportunities for women and men in addition to approving the results of the National Report on Gender Balance 2017-18 to and the formation of a joint committee between the SCW the Ministry of Finance and National Economy and the Ministry of Cabinet Affairs to follow up the implementation of the report's recommendations in cooperation with the relevant authorities. Her Royal Highness then expressed appreciation to the members of the SCW for their contributions to make more achievements for the Council and Bahraini women in particular. The Council then approved celebrating Bahraini Women Day next year under the theme Diplomatic Field. Secretary General of the SCW, Halal Ansari, presented the General Secretariat report regarding the third meeting decisions and the outcomes of the sixth session of the Council. She also highlighted the executive measures taken by the Council regarding women's needs and enhancing their roles. Al Ansari pointed out the numerous achievements made by women on the international level and discussed topics regarding the levels of national expertise in women's affairs and issues, developing legislation and laws related to family and human rights, and developing supportive systems to raise the contributions of Bahraini women in the field of future sciences and contributing to maximizing the participation of Bahraini women in the comprehensive development process. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, opened the activities of Brave International Combat Week in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, and Chairman of the Coordination, Follow Up, and Executive Committee of the Supreme. Supreme Council for Youth and Sports is Hanis Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the President of the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Gareth Brown, the Minister of Youth and Sports, Ayman Ali Al Mayed, and a number of senior figures. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has become a regular host for international mixed martial arts through the Brave International Combat Week, which is now being held for the third time in a row and which includes three international competitions. His Highness said that Bahrain's success 
in sports owes itself to the support and patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which has raised Bahrain's profile internationally. His Highness expressed appreciation for the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad to support mixed martial arts, which has contributed to the preparation of Brave. His Highness concluded by saying that he looked forward to Bahrain's participation in the sixth international competition for amateurs and for Bahrain to win the first place in the competition. His Highness also said that he looked forward to the successful participation of professional players Hussein Ayad and Hamza Al Kohaji in Brave. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad said that Brave represents an opportunity for the promotion of the mixed martial arts sports internationally. His Highness expressed appreciation for the support of His Majesty the King, which he said has contributed to the promotion of the sport. His Highness said that he regards His Highness Sheikh Nasser among the key supporters of the mixed martial arts as he can be seen in his patronage of Brave as well as his keenness on further developing Bahraini sports generally and the mixed martial arts sports specifically, in addition to His Highness's support for the participating athletes. His Highness said that Brave represents major success for Bahrain and proves that Bahraini youth are able to apply themselves to host international competitions which reflects on them and the country. His Highness said and added that Brave's opening ceremony was spectacular through its use of the latest technology and that all of those who worked on the organizing events has succeeded thanks to their collective spirit to promote a positive image of Bahraini athletes. Khalifa Sports City Arena opened its doors for a week-long celebration of mixed martial arts, culture and festivities. Asia's largest combat sports event kick-started with a breathtaking opening ceremony in Bahrain, marking the beginning for the IMAF Unified World Championships for Amateur Mixed Martial Arts 2019 and the Fight Week for Brave 19. We were here for the 6th edition of the uh, uh, IMAF and uh, Wama World Championships for uh, seniors and juniors. And uh, what's amazing about uh, the fact that we're back in Manama, in the uh, beautiful city of, uh, uh, of Manama, in terms of where we are, is that uh, you know we keep um, breaking the benchmark. You know we're raising the the level in all areas. And what's important is that you know we're putting these athletes at the highest uh, stage possible in order for them to perform what I call an Olympic standard. So it's uh, fantastic to have the support from uh, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa for his um, vision uh, in terms of understanding uh, the depth and the development of the sport, especially in the Middle East. The sporting world convened at Khalifa Sports City Arena for the incredible scenes that await fans throughout the week brought together more than 600 athletes from over 50 countries who will be involved in hundreds of bouts taking place throughout the week. We see that all the countries are well prepared uh, for their fights starting from tomorrow. We are in Bahrain proud to host this event th for the third time in a row. Uh, this comes from the inception of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, the President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, President of uh, the Supreme Committee for Brave International Combat Week. Uh, we, we, we are looking forward to have tough uh, fights, uh, tough competition, and we are here to stay in the top of the pyramid. The championship resembles a historic week for Bahrain and reflects the kingdom's development in the mixed martial arts scene and its continuous efforts in supporting and hosting global sporting events, breaking all records in terms of size and participation. The real investment here and the return on investment is coming. When I talk about investment, I'm talking about not only financial investment, I'm talking about human investment. And... Um, tourism investment. So the return on investment is huge for Bahrain. Once we host such events, international events, this is what we call the uh, sports entertainment. And, and, and uh, this will hopefully continue definitely in the coming years. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. And the Deputy Prime Minister Zainal Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa received the Foreign Minister of the Comoros Islands Mohammed Al Amin Al Yemeni in Qadabiya Palace today. During the meeting, the Deputy Premier received a written letter addressed to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa from President of Comoros Federation Uthman Ghazali. <laughs> 